Hey, Bill Scythe, Business Ideas, Dot Academy again. I just wanted to show you um, a certain work on my trailer here. I've got everything laid out the way I want it. You know, I think I'd get a little better shots here on my phone, believe it or not. But um, I've got the uh, pressure washer in place. It's basically, you know, 4,200 PSI, four gallon minute machine. And I'm gonna switch things around here so that you can get a better view. Well, let's go ahead and start down here on the ground where I've got some uh, 200 foot of Curatec hose. That's my soft wash hose. It's a half inch hose. Uh, right next to it, you see the zero G kink free hose. That's two 50 foot strands. Had I known it came in 100 foot strands, I probably would have grabbed at least one of those and a 50 footer. Although the 100 foot fits on the reel quite nicely. Now let me pan around here. You see my workbench is a mess. Got a few things uh, sitting up there. I'm going to pan through the back of the gate here. You can see my reels are all set up. That's going to be my soft wash reel there in the back. The middle reel is the supply water for the water tank and then that forward one is for the high pressure side. As I pan through here you can see that I just set everything in place to get an idea of where everything was going to fit, you know, what was going to make the most sense for each of the systems. You have my 4200 PSI, four gallon a minute machine right there. Next to it is the bleach tank, uh, that reel up front, that's where the high pressure hose is going to fit. And then of course I'm looking at the hose reel for the supply side. You know, I've only got a uh, 35 gallon bleach tank, but you know, I think it's going to be enough one man operation. 55 gallon water tank, I think that's going to be just fine as well. You can see that I've cut a lot of the plumbing and I've just pieced it together to make sure I'm going to get a good fit. I don't have anything mounted yet. I'm just kind of placing everything and seeing, uh, you know, before I commit to where it's going to fit, I wanted to make sure that, you know, everything just made sense where it was going to go. So, you know, kind of pan around the bottom here, you can get an idea of uh, how the plumbing is going to work. I'm going to have get my <laughs> my fingers kind of in the way there. Sorry, but I think this is this is a pretty good layout. Right there, you can see the blend manifold that I've got together. This is actually not together yet either. Uh, I've just pieced it together to get an idea of where it's going to fit. And again, I'll have a separate video on how I put together this blend manifold. It's a pretty common one that you've seen on the internet there. And all my mounts for the tanks, you see them there. All those holes have got to be drilled. So there's the the uh, North Star uh, chemical pump. I think it's uh, going to be a really good addition. All right, now moving on. I pulled everything out. First thing I'm going to install is the pressure washer. So I've got these this uh, eighth inch flat bar that I bent and going to make a nice little mount. What I'm doing is I'm kind of lining it up with the holes. Um, there's going to be a couple bolts that are going to go down through the deck, a couple bolts that are going to go into the frame of the pressure washer to hold it in place. I think it's going to be a pretty solid setup. Going to do the same thing to the other side. Uh, I've got four bolts that are going to hold it in, and uh, I'm leaving the wheels on it because I think that's going to make for a, uh, a good setup there. So if I ever have to take it out, I just take the two bolts out that are attached to the frame. And right now all I'm doing is marking the holes so that they match the holes in the frame. And I'm going to punch those, drill them, and then I'll be able to, you know, drill the holes for the other side of the plate so I can mount it to the deck. Pretty simple setup to what I'm, what I'm doing here. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Essentially, I want to make sure that my holes in my plate match up to the holes in the pressure washer deck. Now what I'm going to do is just uh, take a center punch, you know, make a mark in each uh, center of each one of the holes that I marked because you don't want the drill bit to wander when you start to drill. And this is the best way to do that. Just get a center punch. Just a quick little cut in it, you know, then I'm going to clamp the bar back down here, get the drill, put it in that mark that I just made, and go ahead and drill the holes for all of the mounting bolts. I got essentially two in the top there. They're quite 
close together. That's going to be, again, for the mounting plate. All right, we've got all those mounted. I went ahead and just put them, put the bolts in the frame just to hold it in place. Now I'm going to drill these in place, make it a little easier rather than having to clamp it to the frame of the trailer. I'm just going to hold it in place and drill it right down from the flat bar and right through the wood. I think it's going to be a pretty, pretty easy way to do it this way. It gets caught up a little bit, but my drill bit's a little dull. I think if you had a better drill bit, you won't have that problem. It should slice right through the metal and go right into the wood. All right, got one of them done. That seemed to turn out all right. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a bolt in here. That way it'll help to just hold everything in place. I'm not gonna put a nut on the other side yet. Just throw it in there so it keeps it from wandering. Throw that one in there next and uh, move on to the other side. Careful when you're doing the metal because there's always a chance for the metal to catch the drill bit and man, it'll really tweak your wrist if you're not careful. Clean it up a little bit. Uh, now all I got to do essentially is uh, get underneath it and uh, put some washers, lock washers, some uh, actually, I'll probably put lock nuts on it to keep them from vibrating loose. A lot of vibration in the pressure washer, so I'm going to use uh, lock nuts. Make sure that nothing comes apart when I'm operating the machine. Now I'm going to have to move over to the other side and get that done. What I'm going to do now is just pull these off because uh, they're, they're just raw metal. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and, and spray paint them just because I don't want them to rust when they're on there. You know, I want the trailer to look nice when, when uh, you know, if my customer comes over and looks at the trailer, I want everything to look squared away. I don't want uh, this stuff to rust. It just to look like, um, like a piece of crap. But so to me, it's, it's important to, to, to look good as well. So I'm going to take the time to throw some paint on here. All right, I'm not going to bore you with, you know, putting the bolts in there and, and putting the nuts on and everything. I've got it all put together now. I think it looks pretty good. And man, it is rock solid. This machine is not going anywhere. And it's clamped down in a way that uh, it's, you know, it's not putting any additional pressure on the tires. It's just holding it in place. And it's really solid way to do it. I, you know, I left the the regular bumpers down there on the bottom. I didn't change anything. Literally, all I did was build the brackets and mount it in place. And uh, I think it turned out pretty good. And I'm excited to uh, go ahead and get started on some of the other projects because this trailer is going to take me a little bit to put together. Anyway, I hope you like this first part. Be sure to check out part number two where I show you how I mounted the high pressure hose reel to the side of the trailer. Don't forget to subscribe and like it.